Greetings and welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, well, well. It's uh, this has been an interesting week as uh, as far as content creation stuff is concerned. Looking at uh, you know uh, concepts of of deplatforming, um, uh, weaponizing banking and and payment type systems and. You know, all sorts of other weird things like that. And so I want to talk about, you know, how many types of silence there could possibly be. And what's hilarious is we have this thing here is new. Um, this little box on the comments. It'd help if you guys could actually see what I'm pointing to there. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Well, if you're a person like I am that uh, likes to uh, read more, then you click on the link, and this is actually what it takes you to. And horse network tips, you know, all this kind of stuff. So I don't know if this is more for you guys or for me or who this is for. I'm not quite sure. It's yet another one of these YouTube things that they keep on changing, although all of the uh, current issues are probably still here. Obviously, network tips, encoding tips, start your encoder at least 15 minutes that's insanity um configure encoders for live events all right so yeah i pretty much know what uh, my system works that's why i don't have a lot of issues uh using a webcam you can start to stream with a laptop webcam however better equipment results in a better live stream quality uh you can use wirecast flash media or youtube slash webcam how about uh obs since we're here on linux um which is kind of funny, like YouTube and, and Google kind of pushes you towards the things that they're probably getting kickbacks for pushing you towards, which is a little funny. We're actually going to talk about that near the end of our show. But then here, relevant uh, probably for everybody here, staying safe in live streams. That's right, staying safe in live streams. Content, know what type of content to stream. When filming videos of your friends, classmates, and or teens, remember they should never be <clears throat> suggestive, violent, or dangerous. Note this also applies to live chat. Very true, very true. Of course, this is a family-friendly show, so uh, I do have my moderators that will keep that going. Uh, personal information, be cautious about sharing any personal information during the live stream as well as in the live chat. Admin access for your channel should only be provided to those who you trust and YouTube will not ask you for moderation privileges in the stream. In other words, if somebody comes up here and says, hey, I'm from YouTube, make me mod, uh, my answer is going to be a no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Flag inappropriate content or block users from the chat that make you or others feel uncomfortable. Oh my God, they made me feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah, and privacy. YouTube has features to help you limit who can see the live streams you post. Protect your privacy by setting personal live streams to private or unlisted using the privacy settings page. Was this helpful? Eh, sure, why not? Well, anyway, uh, with that, it was just a wonderful lead-in to this entire show. Um, and I'm wondering if they didn't push this out because of this stuff that's going on this week. But anyway, let's go ahead and start by saying hello, everybody. Hello, Paul. Greetings. And paper bag, man. Haven't seen you for a while, man. How's the paper bag? Did you get caught in a paper bag? I just got to know. All right, let's see. Yeah, GoDaddy is indeed trash. I, it's like I started trying to transfer the stupid GoDaddy site for a client at like 3 o'clock. It's like I keep on getting server timeouts running automated um, server systems. So I literally had to go and manually transfer things. I'm still not done, but all the files are there now. So uh, I figure as much on uh, Danica's old sponsor along with how you said in the past. Yep, I hate that company. They, they just need to go away. Seriously, yeah. GoDaddy, yeah, GoDaddy, um, GoDaddy is one of the ones that have uh, participated in Silicon Valley censoring you know it's like you know start up your own platform you don't like how facebook works start your own yeah and they they just shut off your payment processors sounds like you know uh, a gab and uh bit shoot and you know these other places are getting their payment like they're messing with and weaponizing your banks how exciting is that 
Um, let's see. Yeah, Scars, guard your personal privacy warning. One of the new live chat section. Yep, indeed. Frost Ranger, the Frozen Realm. Hello to you, the Babbler49. Greetings. Uh, other than the box and the live chat, I'm well. All right, Babbler was supposed to go to a tech meetup. I uh, extended the home partition by 500 gigabytes, which took about an hour and a half to resolve. Uh, I hope you went and made it to the tech, uh, to the tech meetup, though. Oh, really? I thought I switched to live chat. I didn't, apparently. So um, now I'm on live chat. All right. Hello, Carbon Programmer. Hello, Vince. How's it going there? Uh, Lucid Life. Hello. Liked for the cat. Woohoo. Yeah, see, that's my secret weapon. I bring the kitty on for liking it. Liking it and cuties, you know. Uh, Son of Anakai. Hello, Cinnamon Master Race. Woohoo. Greetings. Hello, Joe. Greetings. Joe, I've not gotten a chance to uh, get a cost of that box of mailing envelopes. I'll get it to you eventually. But greetings to you. Um, Jesse Crypto, hello there. Speaking of bans, I'm here because I was banned from Twitter for a week. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, Windows streamers also use OBS. Yes, some of them. Some of them do. Some some get away from the open source stuff. I gotta go for paid stuff because I gotta show my... No, I'm not gonna rip on any of that. Uh, but yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Hello, Quint. Greetings to you. How are you doing, sir? Uh, wait, shouldn't share my personal information on the internet, but the Zuck said it was okay. Was he lying? That's right. That's right. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe this is more about um, the the big hack. You guys heard um, it was wasn't bad enough that five hundred thousand inf uh, user information were leaked, but they uh, Google Plus had another hack uh, announced this week where somewhere like five million users' information was leaked. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. So now they're like, oh, be careful what you're sharing on the internet. Well, sorry, you guys, why don't you guys be careful about what you're, you're scooping up behind us? There's a thought, you know. Um, I take I, I take serious stands in making sure I don't share important stuff on the internet, but you guys just kind of scoop up right behind it. So that's kind of that. Oh, uh, let's see. I think you said something about how criminal, yeah, okay. Um, Really? Is that thing popping up again? Oh, I think that thing popped up because I scrolled up. All right. All right. So let's see. Uh, snazzy butterfly. Greetings. How you doing? You look, are you uh, feeling snazzy today? Uh, yeah. Just be careful what you say to the politicians. Hello there. Uh, Maya Collins. Hello to you. Who do you use for domains? I use Namecheap for domains. I host my server at home. Then I use Vault VPS when I need to offload a database. Um, I use Enom because I have a, uh, I have a uh, lifetime um, um, a professional account from them. So I use Enom, which is not the best, but it is. Uh, it, it works, and my domains are are pretty cheap. So. Ah, uh, when you get a haircut, 12 dates to Christmas. Do you get a haircut for Christmas? Sweet. Babbler49 decided, uh, decided not to go and watch this instead. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. You can hang out with, with, with the, the, the live in-person tech geeks, or you can hang out with the online tech geeks. All right. Which hosting companies do you like? Um, I use A2 Hosting, which I have a affiliate link for. Uh, which is tlm.li forward slash a2h. That is my, um, TLM is my self-hosted um, link shortener. So I recommend uh, a2 hosting, site ground hosting, and um, um, in motion hosting. So those are the ones that I recommend for basic cPanel hosting. They're not EIG, they have decent services. Um, you know, and uh, I haven't had any any issues with those. So that was uh, that was that so as far as hosting. Oh, let's see. Censorship is becoming more common. Oh, yeah. It's, and it started with one guy. And it was like, oh, my God, he was just a crazy radical. You know, AJ, man. Um, and then, of course, he gets uh, he gets censored out. And then everyone's like, oh, no, this is that was just bad. And now it's just like, guys, that was only three months ago. Now it's just snowballing. And that's kind of what we're getting into today. What was the hack? Um, I forget all the details. It sh it might be in my news on Friday. I don't know for sure I'm going to include it, but yes. Oh, Snazzy's got an interview next week. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Sky M, Google is garbage. All right. 
All right, so uh, on to what we're going to be talking about, what types of silence. Of course, I kind of picked this up really before the debate even began. I actually talked about this on my live stream on Saturday when this was still breaking, and I've been kind of following the news this week, and it's been interesting to see what's going on. But Patreon seems to be purging far-right figures, which is a scary thing because I'm kind of on the right. Um, I'm a, I'm a Christian and I know that's got to be offensive to some moron over there on the, uh, on the safety team at Patreon. And so, you know, even a channel as small as mine could potentially get deplatformed. Uh, of course, uh, I think this one is this one Milo, I think. So you had, you had, um, you know. Uh, Milo, you had James Alsup, and, and the most puzzling one of these is Sarkon of Akkad, um, who I'm not, I don't follow very much. I've seen a few of his things. I mean, he's he's an English gentleman who's invited to lectures in universities. He's he's a classical liberalist, and uh, yeah, uh, you can check my stream on on. Um, uh, on Saturday, I think it should still be up. But Patreon seems to have been getting rid of and purging more and more people from the right. And then people keep on coming up to Jack Conte's interview and discussion from last year. Like, somebody even asked specifically about Milo. Like, hey, if Milo were to jump on right now, he's fairly controversial. Would this any raise any flags? And Conte wouldn't really answer it. But then he's like, oh, you know, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I mean terrorists we don't allow on the platform, which I get, understand, perfectly fine. But the problem is, like... None of these guys follow any of those bills. Uh, distasteful, maybe. Jerks, maybe. That's okay. But, you know, if, if stupid were, were against the law, we'd all be in jail. <laughs> I was going to make a joke, but no, that'd be bad. Uh, anyway, um, you know, a little bit of filter up here still, you know. But anyway, uh, what we're starting to see is that that these companies are redefining whatever they want. And whether they're bowing to other people, mostly mostly to left-wing areas. Uh, and what the funniest thing is Sargon of Akkad is on the left. He's just not far enough on the left. And so it's it started with it started with Jones and then it's just getting just snowballing this way and it's rolling down this hill towards absolute insanity. Um, and that's that's kind of the crazy part. That is kind of the crazy part. Um, and this is getting kind of kind of weird. So this is what's going on. Now, of course, I have a Patreon page, uh, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. And uh, I am not going to do away with the Patreon page, but I'm not certain I'm going to be promoting it as heavily. I think it's time for me to start doing some different things. And you're going to start seeing some different things like... Uh, one of the things that I want to start doing is I want to actually create uh, pre-created videos for my affiliate links. Um, and that way I can roll those into videos a little bit better. Uh, just do some things to bring up some of the quality content as we move on to 25,000 subs. Because as I cross that point in time, I can devote less time to my regular work and more time to this, which means an increase in the quality of the channel. And that's ultimately what the goal is. And so... Um, I do have the Patreon page. It's going to stay as it is. I'm not going to do away with it this, at any point in time, but I'm really going to be pushing it a whole lot less. And one of, one of the things I'm going to be pushing a whole lot more is if you guys didn't know, I actually have my own platform for support called Think Life Media. Thinklifemedia.com. Now, the downside is I currently only have PayPal as an accepted payment method because of the way the system works. I will probably be looking into better ways of revising this because it's built on WordPress and the new WordPress core is so atrocious, I'm going to be moving as many sites off of that platform as I can. But as for now, um, the, the links at the top of the screen here, um, these guys here are all member links. So if I click on these because I'm not logged in, um, and some of these things I, I still need to talk with my current supporters uh, to figure out what we want to do because at one point in time I would record the live streams and the, the full on length of the live stream would have been all posted on this and an edited version would go up on YouTube after the live stream. I haven't been doing that because I've been experimenting with things. And then I also used to do, 
Um, like every other week, I would do a, a back-end video, but I kind of replaced that with my Thursday supporter stream where the supporters can jump on with me and, and engage in the conversation. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing back and forth. The biggest things is all of my, all the books that I write and things like that are available for free for the supporters at $5 a month or more. So you can download whether it's the audio books or whether it's the, the digital eBooks or things like that. And so uh, there's some things I'm trying to do with there. Um, I don't do a ton on Patreon anyway, and everything that's on Patreon is over here. But one thing you get coming here is this is always going to list the latest video on each of my channels. This is all automatic. I don't have to mess with it. Any public updates will be over here. Um, there's actually a, um, you can actually go into the, um, where is it at? The supporter news up here, which I won't be able to access right now. Um, but that will show us, uh, if you are logged in and a supporter, then, um, you will be able to see any of the blog posts that are specifically written to supporters. Now the site is ad supported if you are not logged in. Uh, but if you are logged in, then those ads go away. I basically have conditional coding. If you're logged in, they go away. What you can access publicly is these links in blue, where each one of these represents one of my channels. So you can visit the channel, subscribe to the channel, or visit the website that is tied to that channel. This lists, of course, this is the latest uh, blog feed. And then I have a series, here's membership levels, and then here is some affiliate links. So I have that for each, um, of course, on the Christian channel. I also have my podcast feeds as well. So you can uh, subscribe to the podcast on that as well. And so we get those. And then if you come on over to the affiliates page, this is actually a listing of all the current affiliates that I have. Uh, so that is, um, that is one of the things that I'm doing. Now, the other thing that has been showing up in light of this Patreon purge is Subscribestar has jumped up. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go ahead and create an account on Subscribestar as well. So maybe in the next couple days, maybe the next week or so, I'll do a Subscribestar. And instead of pushing Patreon, I'll just push Subscribestar instead. I want to read through it. I want to read through their, their terms and conditions and stuff like this. This is just one of these things that that uh, has come up in response to all of this um, all of this this craziness with um, with patreon now of course another way you can silence somebody is simply go for their money and so PayPal has been really on the banning shoot lately and this is the one that's really making me go, eh, because Right now on Think Life Media, I'm only having PayPal as a support system. As I get bigger, I can look into building a better site and integrating more independent payment gateways. Um, I actually have a friend locally here who runs a payment gateway system, but he says the the cutoff of profitability is 60,000. So once you're making 60,000 or more in a given year, that's when I start using his gateway because that's when the fees for his gateway become cheaper than the fees for continuing to use PayPal, Stripe, or the other types of platforms. But what PayPal has been doing is they've just been coming along. They've been banning a lot of guys lately. They're like, Gab AI, we don't like you, ah, ban. They're killing them. Bitchute, oh, we don't like you, ban. And so PayPal has been kicking a lot of people off. This is particularly frightening because, you know, I do things through PayPal and I'm not a big fan of PayPal, but it's really the best way that I can do what I'm looking for right this moment in time. But PayPal has been doing things like banning BitChute and, you know, and, and other guys as well. And so this is like, you know, it, they're kind of getting loose with the facts. This is why it started with Alex Jones. and It was a big big hurdle to get over this. And then now that that has occurred, it, they're just going crazy to actually, if you follow this as closely as I do, and I have not pulled out every single instance of these happening, there have been a dozen of these in the last couple weeks that I've seen where PayPal is just kind of going crazy. And it's again, most of the guys on the right, pulling, 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 um, just pulling that out. Of course, uh, here is the release on Gab. Um, so literally, literally, this is like, Following this shooting in Pittsburgh, Gab.ai, you know, this guy had had a Gab account. And so PayPal pulled their services from Gab. Well, guess what, guys? The guy also had a Twitter account. All right. 
He had a Twitter account too. And we didn't see anything about Twitter. This kind of brings this whole thing. You know, you want to, you, you don't like the way Twitter works. You don't like the way Facebook works. Create your own platform. These guys are creating their own platform. Bitch should create their own platform to compete with Google. Gab created their own platform to compete with Twitter. And they're simply getting deplatformed by the payment systems. They're weaponizing the money, the flow of income. And of course, we all need to eat. We all need to, to engage in enterprise. It's so much uh, Stexon Hammer 666. He, he was talking about stuff today like, dude, bl- my supporters are saying you should go create a mailbox at the local town, a P.O. box, and we'll mail you checks. Holy crap. We're getting to this point where we got to potentially do that. We're like, uh, you can mail checks if you want. That's crazy. This is getting crazy. And, and these companies are getting too big that it's about time that if that if they don't truly be an independent platform, they need to be regulated by the government and made to be an independent platform. All right. Now, as we dive into this and discuss a little bit more, why is it I wanted to jump into this? Well, one of the things I, I was I, I had a top five video on my list for the better part of a month. It was going to be highly anticipated. And I finally got to go ahead to do it this week. And I did my regular top five video today. Did you guys know about it? I don't think you did because my typical top five videos, um, there, I mean, this one's Manjaro five, uh, 4,000 views. I just got to find my top fives. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Top five formatting tips. That's 700. That was a little on the lower side. Uh, top five WordPress tips prepare for Gutenberg. There's a thousand. Uh, let's see. Uh, five reasons to love KDE. 3.1 thousand. And five distros flow on hardware. Now, granted, these are Linuxy type things, but I did this one on how to do audiobook production in Linux. 300 views. This thing wasn't even picked up by BitChute to push on their platform. I had to manually publish it. Yes, I actually do have a BitChute account. I don't openly publicize it a lot. But just in case YouTube does go crazy, there is I do have a BitChute account, which the live videos don't get up there. But usually the uploaded ones do. That one didn't get up there. I don't think anybody knew about this. This video only has four comments on it, where the typical video that I have has, you know, easily dozens and dozens. Let me know in the comments there, in the live feed or in the comments below. Did you know that I did a video on how to do, how to produce audiobooks on Linux? Did you guys know that? Um, Like, I mean, the one I did yesterday, 27 comments, 700 views. That one, four comments. That's it. 360 views. That is insanely low for this channel and insanely low for any channel with 22,000 subscribers. Now, I have a a potential theory why that had occurred. And my theory is I actually put links. The reason I waited to do this one is I was waiting for this audiobook to hit Audible. And so I put the links to the Audible account down here for each of the individual country groups. And so there were a couple extra links. And I'm wondering if it's the massive extra links leading away from the YouTube that caused it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not completely sure why, but for whatever reason, this video simply was not pushed out. Nobody knew I did it. Let me know if you uh, if you saw it, or you know maybe it, maybe nobody has an interest on how to produce audiobooks on on Linux. I don't know, but any other video I'm doing about authoring tips are usually picked up by the algorithm and have a lot more views. That's kind of what I'm talking about. So we're getting this, of course. Dave Collin talked about Computing Forever. Talked about he had a video that went into restricted mode. So I saw the video and it's like, why was this in restricted mode? There was nothing in that video that would justify a restricted mode. It was just like, there was just this massive push against people on the on the right. Now, I don't discuss politics a lot, but that happens to be the place I sit. 
all right? And I have a Christian channel and, and some of these, some of these left wing libtards and sorry, I'm going to use that word because that's how you're behaving. You guys pick up the fact I have a Christian channel and you find that highly offensive. You link it back to this and you go tell me, and then that's the crazy stuff, guys. That's the crazy stuff. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? It's kind of crazy. Um, that's kind of crazy. Um, and so you get this. Um, there's, of course, the concept of shadow banning. What is shadow banning? This, of course, came up in some of these uh, some of these videos on uh, from Congress. You know, shadow banning is when the algorithm, basically the, the companies train the algorithm to say, eh, you find certain traits, just eh, bury those. Shadow ban is kind of like when when you want to see something and you're not seeing anything. Else. Like for example, I don't think I've seen a Joe Collins video in my feed for a long time. I'm subscribed to his channel. I have to go seek them out. It's crazy, and so it's kind of interesting to see these types of uh, these types of things, these types of events going on. So there's a lot of ways to silence someone, whether you're, you're deep platform forming them, rather you're, whether you're taking away their income, you're restricting their videos, you're just shadow banning videos or whatever else. I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's some of the things to, to look into. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. Let's go ahead and jump on over and have a look at the comments and we'll come up and do some, some final wrap ups here. All right, let's see. Hello, Thomas Holt, greetings. I think you jumped on kind of right before we got started. Um, they seem to target the right wing figures. Yes, hello, Anna Rita. Is Toss on here? I didn't see Toss on here. Toss, are you here or am I just not seeing you? But hello, Anna Rita, greetings, how are you? Lucid Life, they're basically banning anyone or anything that's related to nationalism. They didn't want us to take our power back like France is trying to do. Oh, that's the case. Oh, well, thank you. All right. I thought Sargon was on the right. He's on the right of the left. He's what is, to my understanding, I don't follow the guy enough. Um, he is, to my understanding, he is what a classical liberal is how he describes himself, which is a person subscribing to liberal views, but not taking it down this crazy radical position. So in other words, he's just left of center. That's my understanding of where he's at, but I don't really follow him. So I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, smidge right of far left. There you go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see, no Bitcoin, no donation. Yeah, I have a LibrePay account, but I'm a little leery of LibrePay. I'm not completely sure if I trust them. Um, I think it might be linked on some of my accounts. I don't know. Hell, hello, 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 hello. Greetings, Dan. How's it going there? Uh, oh, a bit sick. That's not good. My bio teacher taught me that 90% are sheep and 10% are awake. I hope you feel better. Yeah. Yes, feel better, Dan. Yeah, 90% of sheep, sheep, Gotta do my uh, patented live stream sheep. Uh, just code my own Bitcoin gateways. Yeah, hmm, hmm. We might need to talk, I don't know. Bad headache, ooh, that sucks. Weather goes up and down like a yo-yo, yeah. And you'll say you don't trust Bitcoin, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand enough about Bitcoin to know if I really trust it or not. I don't know. Um, same stuff happened in Germany 80 years ago. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there's a way to get demonetized, right? Uh, weather's like yo yo. Get uh, you get that right? It feels sick too. But my wife is a nurse, so she knows what to do. Also, work with kids, so I'm always sick at least twice a year. There you go. People not recognize the cycles in history. You're doomed to repeat it. Yes, and and the reality is is that you don't recognize the cycles in history if you're not allowed to learn from them. Uh, greetings, Yu Gi Oh. How's it going there, sir? Uh, not many want to acknowledge reality. Nope. Got a notification, but didn't watch it. Okay, apparently nobody liked the video. I don't know. Um, my wife always tells me to avoid coffee when I have headaches. All right. Saw the notifications, just didn't get a chance to watch it yet. Biology is seen as patriarchy and racist. Wow. Uh, did get the notification, but that's one subject didn't apply to me. Okay, so apparently people saw it, just nobody cared. All right, there's a note, note to self. Don't do more Linux audio production books. All right. 
Uh, I think people don't really care about audiobook production, but we don't know. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know because every other book, that, uh, every other video I've done about writing books or producing books gets a ton of views. So maybe just people didn't like the audiobook one. All right. Fair enough. All right. Pizza, pizza, love nerd, pizza, pizza. Thanks, pizza, pizza. Thanks, pizza, pizza. All right, okay. It was all completely arbitrary without explanations. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, it's, and that's, that's the thing. It's like, let's see the example of what X, Y, or Z person did wrong. Oh, it's terms of service violations. All right, what terms of service? Oh, it was hate speech. Well, that's pretty broad, especially since United States does not have officially recognized hate speech laws. Did you know that? Uh, fall under lamestream media, you're pushed so far out. Yep. Joe Collins just put out one, and he specifically said he would be doing less. Okay. Actually, Dan, I met her at the hospital. Funny. That's what happened. I was getting your notifications even after I unsubscribed unsubs uh, because I was getting too many notifications, so I resubscribed. All right. It's so much random junk recommended on me on the homepage. I don't know why. Yep. That's, I, I'm having a hard time finding anything interesting on YouTube anymore. It's like they keep on pushing stuff I have no interest in. Okay. Being shadow banned. Can't type certain words. Uh -oh. I am doing well, Ricky. How are you? I'm trying to send a super chat, but PayPal keeps declining the payment. Really? Uh, yeah, we need to get that server figured out too, pizza. Uh, let me know when you have time. I'm not sure I have time today or not. I don't know this stupid GoDaddy server was supposed to, shouldn't, shouldn't have taken me any more than, than half hour. It's taken me like, I think three hours and I'm still not done yet. Uh, both wings belong to the same bird, just a system to keep us divided. Amen to that. That's true. Have you ever shadow banned a comment on your channel? Many, many channels do. No. Thank you, pizza, 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 for helping with the subdomain. Yeah, we got to get that figured out, too, if you uh, haven't done it yet. All right. Yellow, bre yellow vest is spreading to different countries and regions. Lamestream doesn't want to tell you about it. <laughs> uh, good day. Did you hear about the Patreon purge? I talked about the Patreon purge at the start of the stream. History class is biased towards non-Christians. <laughs> Isn't most of the world. The world is biased towards non-Christians. In fact, that's exactly what Jesus said was going to happen. <laughs> he, in fact, says, "You do, the world does not love you because the world has not loved me. The world does not love me because we are not of its own. That's why. Uh, might need to do a video about Bitcoin. Yep, I get a notification, but it was like 1030 at night and I forgot about it. Yeah. It, I, admittedly, the video did come out about two hours later than usual. But interesting and cool is how you and I follow the same people. Sargon, Computing Forever, all those guys before it came to your channel for Linux videos. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't actually, I follow Computing Forever. I don't actually follow uh, Sargon. Um, I've seen a few videos, but that's about it. Uh, if you upload your content to BitChute, I don't get a lot of notifications on censorship, uh, censor tube. Um, yes, my stuff is on BitChute slash switch to Linux. Yep. Listening to the Communist Manifesto. I'm almost done with it. Very interesting. Short and gets right to the point. Yeah. 90% are part of the culture of poverty. Left is held above the law and accountability. Yeah, I watched a video about CSGO Battle Royale and now I keep getting Fortnite videos. Yeah. Got a three month month ban on Facebook at the moment. Found mines and gab more enjoyable. Ah, just delete the account. Oh, it's uh, I would I've been pushing everybody I can off of GoDaddy. This is a client, unfortunately. They're on GoDaddy. Uh, beware, pale horse this week. Very good, Mugen. Later, Quint. All right. Uh, since me and my boyfriend have our computers in the same room, we get recommended the same videos. It's scary. Our sidebar recommended videos have mostly the same things. Yeah. Dumb masses make decisions all about numbers on when the laws come to pass. Kinds of science, voluntary science and censorship. Yep. 
let's see. You can tell if your sh channel shadow bans comments when you leave a comment, but the comment counter doesn't go up. Hmm. Well, it, it's also possible that, um, like, I get so many comments now, I can't go into the the possible spam and and things like that. There's there's two categories of comments that uh, that show up that comments could fall into. Uh, one is held for review, and is one is likely spam. I have not been into either of those sections in a couple of months. I simply don't have enough time to get into those. All right. Well, that's that. Let's talk about some other stuff. Um, of course, we already talked about the means of support thing. I guess the only other thing that I really had on the agenda to talk about is, is this has been a, a little on the annoying part, Teespring, right? Why do I not have my things on Teespring? Because, of course, if I, if I had a Teespring account, I could very easily link that to my YouTube channel. And then I could put direct uh, links to the Teespring merchandise directly on the bottom of the channel. And Teespring scraped my email and is, without my consent, added themselves to my mailing list. And so they get bashed publicly for being morons right about now. There's a reason I will not, and that is that they seem to be exclusively on the left uh, without any deference on the right. So if we come over to apparel, now this is, this is a company that does t-shirts and things. We have adventures, hobbies, sports, animal lover, you know, all fairly neutral things. And we get things like beer and LGBT. When they start having things on the right as well as things on the left, or when they get rid of these crazy things on the left, I'll think about it. But as for now, and I wrote them back in an email and I said, you know what? I'm not interested in doing business with you until you are either, either completely inclusive or stop being political. You got to do one of those two things. If you do one of those two things, stop being biased or be, you know, uh, or, or include everybody, then I'll think about creating an account. But as for now, I'm not going to send my viewers to Teespring. If you'd like to pick up t-shirts and stuff, you go to shop.switch2linux.com. That is going to redirect you over to Spreadshirt. And that is where you can pick up things for me. Now, the scary thing about YouTube is they will not allow me to link my merchandise from Spreadshirt down there. They only allow you to link merchandise from Teespring, which raises a, a, a certainly an issue. And for me, that's a little bit problematic because I don't want to use Teespring. And if I don't use Teespring, I have an unfair advantage. And this is the exact type of stuff we're talking about. So let's be all inclusive and allow these guys and I I went with them because Teespring and Spreadshirt seem to have the same types of services, the same pricing, the same everything. The, the only major difference is that Spreadshirt was politically neutral. I'm sure they got stuff on those areas I don't care to see, but they also got stuff on areas I do care to see. And I would be concerned have being a person on that is on the right and having things like a Christian channel that eventually I want to make merchandise for, I'd be concerned about putting that kind of stuff on Teespring because I would find that, that I think that they might look at what I do and say, well, we think that that's kind of offensive and kick me off their platform. So YouTube, you guys need to start give, allowing us to link whoever we're having as our merchandise on these. I think that this is also a big enough company you can work a deal with them as well. You link this, I put the stuff down there. But for meantime, you want to pick stuff up, you can do this. So this is the RMRF No Preserve Root uh, 2018 Code of Conduct. Um, we also have the Switch to Linux, You Fool. I got cats and tinfoil hats on a couple things. And we got the Sub to the Cat t-shirt. And I have the, the other main traditional uh, Linux one as well. And for the mouse pad, actually, I have the, the nice uh, mouse pad, which uh, looks like this one here. So pick those up at shop.switchtolinux.com. So that's kind of that's kind of my, my extra stuff I want to chat about. So we'll kind of hang out until we're done here. And then I'm going to go finish building the server and cook some dinner or something. Uh, pizza's getting good at Battle Royale. There you go. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess it's recommended based on IP. That's possible. Um, it's possible. Like, I think IP is part of it. 
Um, but I do notice that on the logged out computers, I get completely different recommended views than this. I think one of the things that they do in their algorithm is they test that by sprinkling in a tiny amount of things on a same IT, IP block, but for the most part, uh, it's going by a different form of algorithm. About the Pence rule in Wall Street now, men are avoiding women and leaving doors and windows open and third person as a witness to avoid false claims at work. Not surprised, not surprised. There was actually another one though, Charlie, where where guys prior to having a um, behind the scenes um, um, engagement, forcing the women to do a consent video for them. That was another one that I saw. Uh, culture of poverty promotes bad financial habits, illiteracy, lack of education, and criminal behavior. That's exactly what we have. We have a culture that so promotes bad financial habits. Like, look at this, this you know, free app. That's uh, what's the name of that one? It's it's the app where it's basically like you're taking an advance on your paycheck. You go out, you do your, you know, whatever five hours of work, and of course, all your pay clock and everything lie tied into your employer is all on this app. And so you can be like the the employer's like, oh yeah, you you may you just work five hours today, so you can go onto this app and take the money out instantly right away. And then the your company, instead of putting that money in your paycheck, sends it to the company instead. We we are approaching full on serfdom, people. If you are if you if you have boatloads of debt, go through Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University, learn how to handle your money. Do a better job of this stuff. Cut crap out of your life. Cut crap out of your life. Get out of debt. Start using cash for things. And for the love, don't rely on these stupid apps to take an advance against your paycheck because your paycheck's going to get here and you're not going to have any left. Oh, lordy. It's behold a pale horse. Hmm got the two-part investigation called the Facebook Dilemma, which examines powerful social media. I think I saw it. Um, I'm not sure, but I think I saw it. Talked about Subscribestar and LibrePay. Um, I talked about Subscribestar. I did not talk about LibrePay. I do have a LibrePay account. I don't actually really promote it. Um, I, I'm not sure if I completely trust it or not. It requires you to tie in a bank account to a, a bank account in a different nationality and I'm a little leery about that, so I don't know. The left shops refuse to have MG toe or anti-feminist shirts, yet they will bash men and feminist and feminism t-shirts. Yep. Got a bit shoot referral code. Um I can probably find you one. Give me a moment to look one up. I don't know much about BitChute at this point in time. Okay, it looks like my referral code is just switched to Linux. So switch to Linux is my referral code. Uh, might be because we both have mics plugged in and watch YouTube at the same time. That might be it. Yep. See, I don't keep any microphones plugged in. Um, the one laptop that I run my office actually has a, a hard switch plug plugged into it to turn it off. Uh, just subbed on BitChute. Well, thank you. Okay. Anyone notice the companies on the right support censorship? It's always the left political companies. Yeah. No companies on the right support censorship. It's always the left political companies. Yep. It's kind of like they just don't want people to know anything. other views um, exist. It's a war against men. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am a white male conservative Christian. I am just the spawn of devil. And I'm a gun owner, too. Oh, God. I'm just, I'm, I'm the devil. I just corns. just... 
you know. Yep, MG Toe has been, will get you. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Notice a heavy increase in email spamming from Teespring lately. Huh, that's exciting. Maybe I'll report them. Maybe we should all just report them. Oh, then my Gmail, even though I have an account which you usually don't use on another email. Maybe you two or Google them. Yeah. I I was it might be Google handing them the stuff directly. Clearly they have a they have a, um, a behind the scenes deal with each other. That's why you can put your Teespring shirts on YouTube, but you can't put shirts from other manufacturers on it. Which I I, I think is actually a, a, is an anti competitive thing. I think if it's challenged in court, it would it would probably they'd probably either have to stop doing that or allow others on as well. But you know. All right. Okay, me too. A movement equals witch hunt against men. Yeah. Uh, not completely sure. I think as the CEO of Google is in Bilderberg Group. I think so. I don't follow the Bilderberg Group, so I'm not completely sure, but it would not surprise me in the absolute slightest. Minimalism is the answer. I agree. I agree. My church was, if you wanted to try it out for solo in the choir and you were a woman, the door was open. What? Yep. 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 That's insanity. That's insanity. Uh, so my church was, you wanted to try out for a solo choir. Yep. It's when a churches get into this stuff, we it's about time to start thinking about looking for another church. I am well, AJ Brewer. How are you doing? Mm, you're late. That's okay. We'll forgive you. This time. This time. Don't be late next time. But yeah. Items have become more throwawayable. Yes, disposable is the word. Disposable. Correct. Um, talk about o OpenVPN versus WireGuard. I have not. Not white men war, it's war against Western democracy. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, prepping should be a priority because the, as a man, majority of the population doesn't have your best interest at heart, so it's going to prioritize your well-being and yourself. Um, why spend a dollar for something cheap and easy? You can break when you spend a little bit more money for something that will last longer. And that is correct. The problem is it's becoming harder and harder to find something that's of higher quality and will last longer. Two just uh, adds on the destroy Western society and the laws. Richard Addison is a minimalist and a purist. Yes, absolutely. That's the way I like it. Yeah, Bitchute's look is not too bad. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and bring up the, the guest kitty. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty. It's time. It's time, kitty. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Oh, you're getting big. You're getting big, buddy. You're getting big. <laughs> you are. All right. Let's see. There, there, and whoa, kitty. Whoa! Oh, 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 that's me, that's me. That's me for me to feed you. All right, ready? One more, one more, one more. This camera, right there. Oh, yeah, it's a good kitty, huh? Oh, that's all you get. Just get three. Maybe I'll give you some milk later, though, all right? Yeah. Want some milk, huh? Do you? Oh, he's a purring cat. Of course, now he got his treats. He's probably gonna be like, yeah, got my treats, I'm out of here. See you later. Oh, no, he's going to lay down and hang with us for a little bit. All right. How uh, to manage money from a 13-year-old. Spend money on stuff you need, like your house, your car, your food, and your bills. If you have extra money, spend 33% of your stuff if you want and 66 for savings. 
just in case you want to put down payment on a house or something. Amen, man. If you live by that philosophy, um, you will be in really good shape. True, the last uh, for the company's doing on purpose. Okay. Work, save, invest. Yep. Are you careful from what countries the laptops are made? Um, we can't be careful from what countries our laptops are made. They're all made in one country. There's a few rarities, but you know. Um, convenience is the last thing I'd spend my money on. Yep. But it's just so easy. Right, Katie? Just so easy. Just so easy. All right. <laughs> By the way, when is the next live discussion? Um, I don't do a lot of public open chats. Um, my channel's not really based on public open chats. They they kind of show up randomly. Um, the next uh, the next supporter live chat is going to be tomorrow. Thursdays at seven is the supporter live chat. Uh, culture of cheap products, C O C P. Yep. Cat's man's best friend. That's right. This cat is CJ. The other one's name is TJ. TJ is a rarity. All right. CJ is very common on the live streams. TJ is an extraordinary rarity. Uh, she's camera shy. If I can import, impart anything with money, it's pay for rent plus power plus gas plus food. Everything else is often a luxury. Bills first. Yep, bills first, debt first, everything else if you have enough for it. Absolutely, that is the way to go. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get his cuteness mode going. Hey, buddy. Cuteness mode. Well, he's always in cuteness mode. Man, he's not going today, huh? What? Huh? He's like, yep. Uh, cheap 99 cent products. There you go. So there's places to work on their equipment. All right. It looks like we've kind of run to the end of the course of the comments. Uh, supporter stream tomorrow about 7 Eastern time. Uh, news will be on Friday. And... Um, I'm going to do, all right, here's a thought. Should we do just show you what I came up with for the Fedora KDE build for Sunday? Or should we actually set it up for the KDE build on Sunday? Um, I'm leaning towards setup in case people don't know how to set up KDE or slash plasma, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm thinking of leaning towards that. And then Saturday, of course, we do a random live stream. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are the pre-recorded videos. And apparently I just shouldn't do any more audiobook production stuff because nobody seems to want to watch it. Good to know. All right. Uh, let's see. CJ is like the character from GTA. What character? I don't know. Uh, so you lose 30% of your pay. Yep. Uh, currently, you're running uh, currently running a dual monitor setup on Manjaro i3, but it goes to one monitor setup whenever I take my laptop to class. Yeah, yeah, like Manjaro just redid their website, and it's the most atrocious thing I've ever seen. Dad does not know how to manage money. He doesn't have a job. Ugh. that's not good, man. That's not good. What's the best office suite for Linux and do we need one? Best office suite for Linux, LibreOffice, hands down. Um, do you need one? Depends on what you do. <laughs> Never bad to have an office suite on your computer in case you get a document you need an office suite for. Uh, set it up. All right, set up. All right. Edge of Wonder is live now. Set up. All right, everyone says set up. So I will set up KDE. Uh, for the Sunday video. So I'll do that sometime in the next day or two and then kind of record it. Alrighty. Well, guys, let's see. If you have a house, you should save money because things break. You need to have an emergency funny. Can you show us the Manjaro website? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that.
All right, here is the new Manjaro website. Biggest concern with it, click download, we get this crap. You can wait, try it here, here, and here. That's useful information, but you know what's missing? All of those wonderful views, pictures, and descriptions. I, I mean, we have to click either the flagship, here's beginner, let's, I mean, clicking these, we get this little guy. So flagship editions here. We get beginner friendly here. We get resource efficient and traditional workflow here. This is so bad. Holy bad. And KDE is not necessarily beginner friendly. Click on this, you get a little bit more information over here, but I find this is way, way harder to use. It might be easier for a new person to learn if you wanna read, but it's way more text heavy. And here's a note uh, when you're building websites, you wanna minimize the amount of text. You always wanna minimize your amount of text. Uh, like these images are pretty good if you can understand it. Um, uh, so a person um, may or may not understand this, but they are giving you a lot of information. But I think that this this little thing down here, I think this is just horrid. Um, I want I like that huge thing where you got all of them listed on one page where you could easily read and scroll through. Um, that's kind of my thoughts. But you know, I'm just one guy. But I find this a lot less user friendly personally. What do you guys think? Is this uh, am I off base or is this? Uh, or is this, does this actually suck? I don't know. Uh, love spreadsheets, I see what you mean. What did you do to your site? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, technician uses WPS Office, yep. Uh, okay, just enjoyed your audio book, was looking forward to the next one. All right, yeah, I'm gonna start the production on the next one, hopefully this week I'll start the production, which means it'll be available in stores, um, I think it'll be available in stores on uh, probably like give it six to eight weeks, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, if you are a uh, supporter, either Patreon or Think Life Media, whatever else, I as soon as the production is done, then you can get a copy of it. Okay. So pizza's using LibreOffice with the ribbon bar. Bookmark favorite channels because subscribers don't work. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Quint, Quint took off halfway through the stream. He's like, I was out of here, yo. <laughs> Is it a Moby HTML5 template? Probably. How do you minimize the amount of text if your website is a blog? Well, a blog is a, a the blog is different, dude. Come on, man. Come on. Is that blade? I have no idea what this blade book is. I have no idea. A type of laptop, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm done with Manjaro over it, but <laughs> it's definitely not a uh, user-friendly website. Just got home, found that dinner was made. She said, do you need money? <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, I think we'll officially end now. So thanks for hanging out, guys. We will catch you guys tomorrow and have yourselves a wonderful evening.